Good evening, fellas, and I finally found time to do our end of the draft report on my awesome analysis of who had the best team going into the season. Now I gotta find where I put all the oh crap. Where did I put it? I I know I made it. Come on. Where is it? again. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Where did this go? Here we go. There we go. Alright, so, just to get this out of the way real quick, sorry for the frustrations during the draft with the online bullcrap. The website crashed. For those of you who said, like, well, why are you using a fan draft and screwing things up? No, it wasn't. Actually, that fan draft saved us from a nightmare. So, screw you. Why don't you join the draft, which since you live in freaking Olathe, and it's like 10 minutes away from where you live, you could have been to the draft. If you live in town, come to the draft. I have it on a Sunday because I know everyone's not working. And it only is until 9, maybe 9.30 at the latest when you finish. Plenty of time for you to get your your whatever princess rest you need for the work day on Monday. Okay, it's one day a week. Get to the draft on Monday. That's ridiculous. I don't know why you don't come. Because you don't want to pay me shit. Okay? Are you kidding me? Every one's day except for you and two others. I'm pretty sure there's like two or three of you. The draft will be on Monday. On a Sunday. That's where the most inconvenience is. Should we turn it from Still enjoying all my time. Alright. Also, enough of that. But because of the frustrations we had of the uh, online draft with the website crashing and email the My Fantasy League site people to let them know my frustrations, because it wasn't just this thing. The site crashed on the draft before that for about an hour. So they said, We are deeply sorry for any frustrations you had. We did have the site crash because <laughs> I knew they were going to say something else because like we were unexpectedly aware of how many people were going to be drafting today that day. I'm like, seriously, it's the third week of August. Everyone drafts. Actually, it's the last week of August. Everyone just drafts on that weekend. It's it's like you're a kid. They know it. They just <coughs> anyway. Long story short, next year we have a free website. For this draft, for this league, it's going to be pretty nice. Sorry, I lost my little faces while I had one out. I just got a little scored. Give me a little. Ooh, it's nice silver. Possibly two bucks on it. Sign it. Sign it. Anyway, so we got a free league next year, which is about 60 to 80 bucks. It's like about the same price as our other league. $65 for a prize. Uh, let's get two more prizes. It's just a one year thing. I like to have like a nice little prize just to kind of get us going. So it's not for this year. I don't know why I can't get this one. Maybe I have a lot of people that listen to this show that have won prizes. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not. I'm 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 not. I'
Foster, Carlos Hyde, David Johnson, and Thomas Rawls. So we got one of those running backs. But so we got David Johnson, Thomas Rawls, Aaron Foster. Did you get the last log? Kind of at the top of the map. 
Sean McCoy and I want one of your big running backs. So, so, so. Because I know that your receiver guy, Julio Jones, who I know is your big back. Nice. So, and I want to convert when he's healthy. When he comes back healthy, he'll be probably pretty good. Uh, so, anyway, that's why I have him uh, once again. Good name out there, guys. Go ahead and put that in. Solid team. Good team. A lot of good stuff. So, let's start with three toilets that I get. Oh, gosh. So, welcome back to the league, uh, Scott. Um, yeah, I know. Shelby, you didn't really have much to do with that. Obviously, you got Aaron Rodgers. Jamal Carroll. Uh, we all made that up. Let's just wait and see. And then we had uh, one more quarterback. Receivers, obviously, Randall Cobb, Deandre Hopkins, <laughs> maybe the end, uh, Deshaun Jackson. Uh, Kyle Rudolph, you know, he was a, a bit of a pain in the ass, but good tight end, so why not? Uh, Broncos defense became the best pick. So it's not a horrible, horrible, horrible team, but you have no good running backs at all. Like, Danny Wood had to be the best running back ever because you have one small child in there who TJ Moore is going to get more than 12 carries a game. The other guy in there is David Olson. David, David, why do I have you down here? Let me have you down here. Let's see here. David Olson, where are you at? Okay, there you, there you are. Good stuff. All right, I'll get my hands flat. Good pick. Obviously, I think you're done. We don't know. Such an annoying running back. Um, Jonathan Stewart is your really only starter. That's it. One starter. You have a bad head with Rick and Jim Brown. They're not going to amount to much. So you have one running back in there because Giovanni Bernard is terrible. Good pick. Des Bryant. Touch and move. Plus Adams in there. Probably could be good. Let's start with Matt. Matt, I got you at the bottom. Why? Um, I'm not a fan of Jameis Winston. You can't do anything wrong. 
Brian Tannehill, I think I need to change the way I view Jeff Wilson and Chase Edmonds. That's like, oh, okay, well, then you sell maybe right after the next week. But you know, Tom's not really going to do this. I doubt it. But I'm not going to change it uh, because of my lack of faith. It's just the lack of faith in the concept that I can take this team to the next week. Um, the Antonio Brown, Mike Evans, Dante Moncrie, Sam Watkins. What's up? Okay, you know me. I'm a running backs guy, right? Okay. Your tight, your quarterback is probably average, 25 to 30, maybe about 35, a little bit. Your running backs will average 10 to 15, possibly. But then your receivers obviously 15 to 25 every other day for all three or four positions or whatever. Okay, so maybe I should just say the bottom, but I don't because I don't want to be a running back. So I'm gonna say that. Which leads me to the top, my favorite teams. Now, I have to tell you, I know you have your rankings and you have to tell me which one is number one for me. And I don't want you to make me do any of those things that I did with my phone. I don't want to do that. I don't want to know. I just don't want to know. <laughs> but this lady, I think, has been really solid. Something or maybe not. I don't know. But I have quarterbacks. Uh, running back, Frank Gore, Mark Ingram, Eddie Lacy. As long as they're all healthy, that's running back for the week. And that has to be it. Receivers. On the top of those three running backs, Odell Beckham, really. Michael Crabtree, good. I don't think you're like, I mean, you're going to play three running backs until one of them is hurt. Can't play Beckham all the time. Sammy Sosa will be a very interesting stud. Same with Philip Morset. Alan Hearns is always a good number two. But you got Beckham, Crabtree, Garcon, Hearns, and I don't really know who the best one is. Matt Ryan, what's up? Uh, Jake and Greg Olson. Greg Olson, nice. Carlos Beasley, nice. Grant Milton, eh. I mean, that's an all in all. I have six solid teams. Or good receivers. I don't think he's going to be a good quarterback. We'll see. But the point is, you can never offer Beckham a bad team. Like, good day, long day, and you never know what you're going to get. You can't just have one guy that's like, oh, yeah, he's going to be a solid team. He's not as solid as mine. But he's not a bad team. The only thing with my team is if he's not a good team, he's got another decent team behind him. I got Kelsey Palmer, and he's like four away. I think both of them. Start two wide receivers. I'm not gonna start three. I'm not gonna start Odell Beckham, Christian McCaffrey, Xavier, because I got Michael. 
one who likes to air it out, Carson Palmer. And I'll get that Will Fuller, who is just a monster. Will Fuller looks like an Osweiler target. He talks a lot of shit, but I think he's kind of like Jimmy Graham. Like he's not a mission. He just shows up like Chris Paulson, but he has the reason. So, and of course, all the nice guys are here. The main course is no one else but you and me. So, Team a lot, but I also like Chris Draper a lot. I think that's kind of a work, and I don't care what Will Hughes does. Chris Draper, who the shit is Luke Perry? I've wasted a lot of your time, and I seriously doubt you're still watching because I love Chris Draper. If you don't like Chris Draper, you're missing 21 minutes of how bored are you? 